Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our maths class. Today, we will be learning about data handling. Today's topic is all about tally charts. Look at the picture closely, what you have observed. This is called a tally chart. For today's learning objective, we are going to record and interpret data using a tally chart. What is a tally chart? Tally charts are used to collect data quickly and efficiently. What do we use to represent data on the tally charts? Look at this picture carefully. These are called tally marks. And how are they grouped? Mainly, the tally are grouped in cluster of five. This is for you to count the number of data quickly. How to put tally marks in the tally charts? We make groups of five tally marks like this. This makes them easier to count later on. Now, we are going to put the tally marks in groups of five in our tally charts. We have the charts of colors, green, red, and blue. Now, let's have a tally of five for each color. So we have for green, one, two, three, four, five. And let's have in red, one, two, three, four, five, and so on for blue. Now, another column represents the frequency. It means how many times it appears. So we have green of five, so you write the number five, same as with the red, and blue. That is how we use the tally chart. Now let's try this activity. This is a tally bakery. Look at the number of bread, donuts, and cupcake. Let's count it together for bread. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have five breads on the, on the tally. One, two, three, four, and five. Now let's begin to count the donuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And finally the cupcake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven cupcakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that is how we use tallies to represent the data. Now, let's answer some questions about your tally chart. Let's try these. You have already recorded the number of breads, donuts, and cupcakes. Now look at the tally marks that you have put in. Which item is the fewest number? So we have 5, 11, and 7. So which one is the fewest? Yes, we do have the bread. Because bread is only 5. How many more donuts did they buy than cupcakes? So we have donuts and cupcakes. Donuts is 11 and cupcakes are 7. So what are we going to do? So we have to apply our knowledge in subtraction. So we have 11 minus 7. Now, do the backward counts in 7s. Start with 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So the answer is 4. So there are 4 more donuts than cupcakes. Question number three. Which item counts more than B? Which item 
counts more than B or more than A. Sorry. So more than A is the donut. How many items are there in all? So we have 5 plus 11 and plus 7. Let's count it all together. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. We write 3, carry over 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Therefore, we have 23 in all. So that is how we use the tally charts to represent our data and use it as reference to answer questions. I hope you have enjoyed for today. Now, you have to try the tasks that was prepared for you. You may use your math textbook. And after which, you may also stick your answers or copy your answers on your copybook and prepare for it as we see each other next time. Thank you so much. Hope you have enjoyed the lesson today.